my inspiration was my daughter Sabrina. Uh, she was two year old. She was two years old, and uh, I was like determined to get her off her pinky. And uh, I tried everything, you name it, everything. And I, nothing really like worked. And I didn't want to see her cry. Uh, didn't want to see her suffer through this uh, first detachment experience of her little life. So one night at 3 a.m. when I enter uh, her room and she was crying because she couldn't find her pacifier uh, in her crib, on her crib, I said, you know what, Sabrina? What is going on is like little Binky, little Chupi needs to go back to Mommy Chupi. And she was like, Mommy? Uh, my my binky has a mommy. I said, yes, your binky has a mommy. Imagine you and me like being apart with no hugs and kiss and, and love. And she was like, like, really? And I start inventing her this amazing fairy tale about binky land and blah, blah, blah. And she gave me her pacifier and she said, here, mommy, send binky to mommy binky. And in that moment, I said, this is great. I have to just share this story to, to other desperate mothers around there. Because it's, it's the first uh, uh, um, controlling uh, way, it's the only controlling way they have. I mean, they, they cannot, uh, you know, they move like, you know, they cannot have control of anything but that. They just have control of like sucking that little binky. So I think it's really important for them. It's like it's a comfort issue, no? Uh, but if you think about the side effects of that comfort issue, uh, you have uh, ear infections or overbite or speech problems. So there's a lot of pros. And I think uh, after two years old, it's like that uh, year that you have to just stop that before everything those goes downhill. I think the, the most important is, is uh, I think the most important thing uh, as a parent is to be patient and have a lot of love for that little person. Uh, it must be difficult being stuck in a little body and not being able to, to talk uh, what is in your mind and, and to do things that you want to do and you can't. So just be, be a little extra patient with them. This is my fourth book, so it is, is very coherent uh, with my life. The first one was about beauty and about how to find your inner beauty and, and bring it out and, and make it shine. Uh, also, the second was about pregnancy. And it was at the time where well, I was pregnant. And uh, I talk about how to embrace that moment in your life, uh, how to look fabulous during it. And the third book was more like a, like a, you know, like a biography, and it was fun to go through all my life and my uh, career and uh, things that happened. And this one has a, a very important link uh, with my life as a mother, with my daughter Sabrina and my son Matthew. No, right now, like, everything is, like, too fast speed. I mean, like, uh, the attention span right now is, like, four to six minutes on YouTube, n nothing else. I mean, this new generation, they don't want to sit and hear a whole album, a whole CD. They just want one single. So that's why it's a little more difficult for new talent, for new stars, for new singers to just last longer or to build up bigger careers because I think it's, like, everything is so fast speed and everything basically is in your phone, in your like mobile is like in your smartphone so there's no time to kind of like sit there and and enjoy the ride no watch tv or go to the movies or it's, it's another time everything is on your on your smartphone now Uh, at the end of this month, um, I'm, I'm launching a DVD, CD, uh, live uh, album, and I'm so excited. It's Talia Vivo, Viva Tour, and Talia Viva Tour, and it's, it's just like uh, 
everything that I documented from all my tour in the United States and Mexico and and is like so cool and fun and it has like incredible uh, fun images and things that you know are are, are in, unusual uh, and I'm happy to present that in to my people and also like in, in December I'm so excited because um, uh, December 5 I'll be getting my star in, in Hollywood. So, oh my God, that's amazing. Uh, you have to be there, guys. I, I'll see you there. And, uh, and, and a lot of projects that are coming. More fashion, more music, more stuff. Uh -huh.